Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. I look crazy. I still have setting powder on, but that is because, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be reviewing the new Powerpuff Girl and ColourPop collaboration. I'm so excited for this. Like, I've been waiting for this. I have a few of the items here, including, I got the bubbles. Okay, I'm like a bubbles girl. I've always been bubbles. Everything about me is bubbles. Um, so I got the little hair clips. I'm gonna see, there's one, my dog is barking, but I'm gonna see if I can get incorporated on my hair today. But I mainly just got the Bubbles collection. Um, so I'm just gonna be reviewing, these are some sturdy hair clips. Okay, first impressions. Oh, and they don't even hurt, that's cute. <gasps> this is so cute! <gasps> this is so cute! Okay. Well, wait, I love this. I'm actually going to put hair clips in my hair today. Anyway, so if you guys want to see my thoughts on this, let's just get into it because I'm too excited to just keep on talking. So let's sip some water and let's get into this review. So as you can tell, my base is already done. I was like, I need to just do the base. I kept some setting powder under my eyes just in case there's any fallout. But this is the palette. I've already opened it and it's a heavy palette. This is one of their heaviest palettes that I've ever had from them. The mirror is so thick. And so nice this is the color scheme you have neutrals you have the orange the reds the pinks and the greens to represent each powerpuff girl which i think is cute um we also have here their blush this is the saving the world blush i feel like i should have gotten the other color because i feel like this is a bit too light for me but i don't know we're gonna try it out but i love the component i love the heart mirror and i love the heart component as well and then I got some of the color sticks, which I was so surprised at how small these were. I mean, it's not a bad thing, but the ColourPop ones are like, let's say the ColourPop ones are this big, and then this is how, I'm sorry, the e.l.f. ones are this big, and then this is how the ColourPop ones look. So, but I got the Mojo Jojo, which is the green one, and then I got the Princess More books, which is the blue one. So, I don't know which one we're going to play with today, but we're going to see, so... Let's just get into it. I love this. I think the palette is so freaking pretty. My dog is literally barking because she wants to be up here with me, but she can't because she likes to pee everywhere. I'm just going to start by going into crime fighting because it's a neutral brown. And we're just going to see how that applies, which I think it's going to be amazing. But whatever. Yep. See, it's like the perfect... Um, Coco, please stop! Perfect neutral tone. This would be such a good everyday like shade for my eyes if I don't want to do any crazy uh. eyeshadow. This is gorgeous. And they're blending really easily. There's a minimum fallout, as you can tell over here. There's a little bit, but not a lot, like some kickback. I don't mind. I always say this in my reviews. I don't mind if there's kickback in a palette as long as the palette works. So... That's a tea. So I think I'm gonna go into Rowdy Rough Boys. Oh my god, do you guys know who the Rowdy Rough Boys are? If you do, let me know. I'm gonna put a picture because, wow. I'm gonna go into the blues today. Forget it. This is so pigmented and gorgeous. Oh. Oh my god. And I love this mirror. Honestly, this is like one of the best mirrors that I think they've come out with. Um, with the collab. Goes on. And there's not that much kickback from it, actually, which is surprising. I thought that maybe the um, colored shadows would have more, but it's not, which is good. So, yeah, I really love ColourPop's um, formula. And I think that they just continue to improve as they release new items so yeah i love this though this is so pretty laying down that crime fighting shade was a good idea because i think it really just helped like blend it this is such a pretty shade i'm so shook so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the crease a bit. I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer to cut it. And I'm just going to basically outline my lid. And I'm going to be putting on just the... Um, the shade Super Friends. Which is such a pretty like uh, metallic glitter blue. 
I'm using like this um, BH Cosmetics 106 brush. It's a very thin brush. And I don't necessarily do this to add a base for the shades. I just do it to really cut where I want the shade to be. Okay. Oh, I'm feeling myself already and I didn't even. I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics brush. It's just a big flat brush. And I'm going to take Super Friends, which is this one. And I'm going to apply that to where I cut the crease. Oh, wow. Wow. All I did was tap it once. So these ones are the more like, they're like pressed glitter, so they are a bit messier, but as long as you know that and you just kind of like, if you have your face makeup on already and you keep the setting powder underneath, you should be fine. But it's gorgeous. The first tap, there was so much pigment. This palette is so good, okay. So this is what the eyes are looking like. Maybe I'll keep you guys in this close. I'm sorry. We're a little a little close. But um, this, I feel like, like I said, my favorite Powerpuff Girl was Bubbles. And I feel like I'm living out like my Bubbles dream. And like I really I don't, I don't really know how to act. We're just going to keep calm and keep going. So what I want to do next is I think I want to go into the Princess More book shadow stick. Um, these are very pretty. I'm going to swatch both of them for you. They're so pretty. Here. Okay, you guys are a little too close. Now. Hold on. There we go. They're so pretty and pigmented. And you can use them as, of course, what they are, a shadow stick or like a liner. Um, I, I love them. They're, they're gorgeous. This one is Mojo Jojo, your favorite villain. And that's what they look like. I'm going to go into Princess More books though to stick with kind of like the blues for now. And I'm going to apply that to my waterline. Beautiful. Beautiful. So creamy, you don't even, it just glides on so nicely, you don't even feel it. I want to add in a little bit of like the red or like the orange or the pink actually. So I'm going to go into the Fashionistas right here which is that pink. I'm going to take it on like a nice small flat brush. This is a Kylie Cosmetics brush like something that's like this. Can you see it? And I'm going to take that shade and I'm going to drag that across the waterline. Oh, I love that. I love that. Oh my goodness. Pink and blue as like eyeshadow shades are like some of the best, the best combination. I just wipe away like the excess as, as well as like the excess powder on my face. So for blush, I have the Saving the World one, which I showed you, which is like really peachy, corally kind of, very light. Like I said, I don't know how this is going to look on my skin, but I'm just going to take this angled brush and go in. You can kind of see it. It's very subtle. It's coming off like pretty pink and I like it for a subtle look. It's pretty. Okay, yeah, you can definitely see it. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but in person you can. And it's just a very pretty, like, pale pinky blush. But I don't mind it. I actually kind of like it. I feel like I look like a Powerpuff Girl, like, living my life. Oh, these hair clips are so cute, though. I honestly thought they were going to be kind of like a TV shoppy hair clip, and they're really not. Um, so shout out to Colourpop for delivering as per usual. I'm gonna go into this Colourpop and Lizzie McGuire. Um, this is like their glitters and it's the one Sync to Me Paolo. 
And I'm going to apply that on the inner corners if I can get the, yeah, okay. I'm going to be taking a little flat brush because I don't want too much. And be careful with this next to your inner corner because you obviously don't want to get it into your eye. I did that and it wasn't fun. Oh, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Gorgeous, absolutely stunning. I've basically used whatever I have from the collection, so I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and finish the rest of my face, like the lips, the eyes, all I'm gonna do is add mascara, and I'm gonna finish that off, and then I'll share it with you guys my final thoughts. All right, so we are done with the look. Now it's time for my final thoughts. I love this collection, it's so, cute it's so fun and the quality is there i was so surprised about these hair clips um because i thought they were just gonna be like you know like little like click click but no they're thicker and they're just so cute i wish i could wear them today i want to i'm gonna try to but i love the hair clips um i absolutely love the eyeshadow palette i think this is one of their best collaborations by far and all, honestly, it all goes to the mirror. The mirror is thicker. The palette feels heavier than your normal ColourPop palette. If you have it, you'll know what I'm talking about. And just the pigment in this palette was there. Um, there was barely any kickback from the matte shades. I understand why there would be kickback this is because these are like pressed glitters. Um, they're like pressed loose glitters almost. And But first swipe on the eye with the glitter, I used the shade uh, Super Friends. First swipe on the eye and... I was done. I didn't need to add more. Beautiful. So beautiful. I have to say I was very impressed with these color sticks. Um, I didn't expect much from them, but I like the colors of them, and I really like them. Would I use them as, like, an eyeshadow? No. But I do like them as, like, an eyeliner because they are so thick and creamy, so easy to apply, and they don't move. I feel like it could be something that could crease on the eye, but I would have to test that out, of course. I can't just make that statement. Um, I honestly was very surprised with the blush, too. The blush came out so beautifully on me. This is actually probably going to be more of an everyday shade for me because it's nothing too pink, too peach, too red, too purple, too this, too that. It's the perfect tone. It makes me look blushed and makes me look like I'm blushing, even though I'm not. But I'm blushing, you know? So I have to give this entire collection a win. I'm so happy with it. I wish I would have got the little, like, roller lip glosses. And I think I'm going to get them because, like, nostalgia. Like, why would I not want to get them? So I think I'll get those and update you guys on that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think of the ColourPop and Powerpuff Girls collection. Let me know if you've tried it and if you like it, if you hate it. Let me know down below and why. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Um, I'm obsessed with these hair clips. Like, I, I don't know what to, like, tell y'all. Like... Oh, I'm so happy they decided to come out with hair clips. I was like, wow, this collection is for me. Okay, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.